what was that moment like? You were telling me about your, your first panic attack. Yeah, the first, the first panic, attack, panic attack I ever had, uh, you know, I thought I was going to die. I, you don't know, and, and the, the great thing about growing up is you, you, you tend to be able to think things out more and really rationalize things. I didn't think I was going to live through the day I had my first panic attack. I had no clue what it was. My heart was racing. And then my panic attacks became so bad that at one point in my life, I started breaking out with eczema all over my hands mm -hmm. because I was rubbing them together because I was so nervous. And the only times I wasn't having a panic attack were when I was acting or playing a sport like basketball I fell in love with for a number of years. And you know, I've always had passions over the years, like I had basketball and I had water polo and then martial arts. And it was always something that made me zone out and kind of be in the moment so that I didn't have a panic attack. And those yeah. are things that have been huge solutions in my life. How old were you when you had your first one? Do you remember? <sighs> I believe I was eight years old. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I just couldn't get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it a result of the bullying or was the bullying a separate thing? Or yeah. What, I, what do you think it was? I think the biz kind of misconception and I'll clarify it about kind of my statement was I had anxiety and depression, not even dealing with bullying. Yeah. And then when you couple those together, it's like this, this storm of, of, you know, crazy circumstances where it, it just kind of doubled where I had, you know, anxiety and depression about way different things. And I think that I would have, even if I wasn't a child actor, I think it was just something I was going to have and have to be, you know, have it be a battle in my life. But then you couple it with coming into middle school and I was so excited to start middle school. I, I had come off the best summer professionally and personally because I got to travel around the world with, uh, with Bow Wow, who I loved, man. And uh, I haven't seen him in a while, he's a great guy. Uh -huh. And we got to travel around the world and promote Like Mike. Like Mike came out you know, and did really well in the box office. And then Stuart Little 2 came out also and did really well. And I got to do all this fun stuff and travel for bo both of those movies. And it was the most fun I'd had. And then I was like, and I'm going to a new school. I'm going to make new friends. Maybe I'll meet a girl. you know. And I was so excited. And, and I came, and it was something I was not prepared for. Uh, because different schools fed into the middle school I went mm -hmm. to, they thought at first that there was a fight going on because I had so many people crowded around me. Wow. And it was almost all positive energy at first. It was just people like, whoa, like, can I get your autograph or take a picture with you? Or like, you know, it was, it was more like that. And then it kind of slowly turned negative. And then it became a thing where they wanted to put me at my own table at lunch. And, and I was like, no, that's just going to isolate me. And then I'm going to be even weirder, you know, more. Yeah. And, uh, it became really bad where I felt like everybody was against me. I still had my friends, you know, especially ones from, from elementary school. Uh, but I felt like everybody was against me. It was like, you know, it wasn't like, cause people go, oh, you know, punch the bully in the face. And I was like, you know, I'd done martial arts. I was, I was a, little, a little tough kid, a little scrapper, uh -huh. but you know what? You can't fight it when it's, you feel like it's the majority of people don't like you and you don't know why. And, and I was always a person, I'm a lover, like I, I wanna make friends. And I didn't understand why all these people hated me and said the nastiest things to me, no matter what I wore, no matter what I did, it was always something. Yeah. And it was, you, know, you couple that with having anxiety all day, like I'd be, be in class and I'd be having a panic attack. No one ever knew this. I never shared it with, you know, I mean, a couple of my friends did, but I never shared it with anyone. Sometimes I'd go and I'd, um, w uh, later in middle school when I got a cell phone, I'd call my mom and ask her and work over the problem with her. But I had to, you know, I was in therapy from a young age working on it. I'm still in therapy. It's, it's a daily battle still. I'm in a great place right now, personally and professionally. I've been working a lot, but it, it was a very, very hard time for me.